On the 17th of December, PlayStation Vita launched in Japan, and official PlayStation Magazine were on the ground to watch Sony bigwigs Kaz Rai and Andrew House give out the first unit to one lucky customer. But we stuck around a little bit longer to pick up our own unit and take you through this unboxing video. Enjoy. Uh, so, I've got here a PS Vita. It's a 3G Wi-Fi model. Uh, I'm going to unbox it. Uh, so, you can see uh, that's the, the box. It's quite small, smaller than I thought it might be. Uh, it says on here whether you've got a, a 3G or just a Wi-Fi model. Uh, on the back, it's got a list of accessories and stuff and uh, it says down here that it's region 2 uh, it's supposed to be a region 3 console so I guess we'll find out later down the line what that means uh, it says for sale in Japan only made in China uh, so that's the the box with the machine you can see I've got a bunch of uh, games here as well and some other bits and bobs um, let's have a look inside <clears throat> so I open up, it says, uh, Welcome to the world of PlayStation. It's nice for a welcome. And let's see what's in here. Right, so on the top, first of all, there's a quick start guide. Uh, looks a bit like that. <laughs> Something like this tells you uh, how to turn it on and how to set the clock and all that extremely exciting stuff. Underneath that, it's application guide it says. Uh, it's all written in uh, Japanese only. Uh, so here it tells you some of the apps that you can run, the web browser and music and camera, videos, stuff like that, trophies. Uh, this here will be the, uh, the Vida itself, let's save that to last. Uh, underneath there's a bunch of uh, accessories, so <clears throat> this will be the, the power adapter, comes in a couple of pieces. Uh, You get like a, an adapter box, and in one end it's got a socket for um, AC adapter. The other side has a USB. Then you have an NAC plug, Japanese plug, of course, and a USB cable, which will be for <clears throat> charging the Vita and also connecting it to your computer, I guess. So then there's a little booklet here <coughs> about uh, setting up the Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, the 3G, uh, which is uh, run by Docomo, that's the big uh, phone, uh, mobile phone provider in Japan. Uh, it's the only place, I think, that you can get native 3G for the Vita, and it's got a little description of all the incredibly expensive uh, plans <laughs> and warranty. Uh, Alright, that's it for inside the box, so let's, let's take a look inside this little bag. How's that for a thing of beauty? There's your Vita. Um, it feels good and weighty. Uh, feels like uh, sturdier than the PSP. Buttons have a really nice click. These two thumbsticks are going to be greatly appreciated. You've got uh, the PlayStation button like you have on your uh, PS Joypad. Um, here's the, uh, the rear touch panel, which you can see there. A little couple of uh, little grooves here to put your, rest your hands on. <clears throat> Sockets. It's got. Uh, I guess this will be for the for the USB and headphones. 
uh, on the bottom and then up at the top you've got the two card slots, one's for the, the games and the other's for the memory cards. Power switch and volume and the shoulder buttons, so let's turn it on. No, let's not turn it on, it looks like it's got no charge in it, so, oh no, here we go, it's coming, okay. PlayStation logo there. So what's this? All right, it's asking me to pull the uh, pull the corner, so pull the corner, and then I can choose my language. That's uh, that's pretty handy, so it doesn't have to all be in Japanese. Uh, scroll along and find English. There's a choice of uh, English, American English, or British English. So obviously, I'll choose British English. Thank you very much. Next time. Uh, you can set the time zone, so I'm going to set for Tokyo, that's where I am, uh, the date 2011-12-17, that's the Vita launch day, that's today, uh, time is 12.50. It's playing this, uh, I don't know if you can hear this, this incredibly jaunty Horrible music. That's horrible music. I mean, if if it's going to play that through all the menus, um, you're going to wish there's a mute switch at the very least. Uh, okay, now it's asking me, do I want to connect to the mobile operator's website um, to set up the 3G? So this is a 3G model, um, and it should come with. Uh, should come with a free 100 hour prepay card um, which there's no card inside the box so I guess that's either installed or maybe there's a little code in one of these doesn't seem to be a code so I'm going to guess that it's already stored on the, uh, the chip which is the chip Ah, here we go. There's a socket here that I missed. So this is for the Wi-Fi, uh, for the 3G chip. It's quite hard to get to, but if I pull it out, you can see the little, uh, it's like an ordinary phone SIM card. And it's flashed up a warning to tell me not to do that again. And it's off again. Uh, Alright, well that, that'll be that for now and then uh, <clears throat> let's unwrap uh, some of these games. So this is Uncharted. It'll come in wrapped in plastic. I don't know if it'll be like that in England, but certainly in Japan everything comes wrapped in plastic. <clears throat> so there's Uncharted. And there's the uh, Game cart. It's pretty small. It's uh, it's it's like half the size of a uh, 3DS card. Yeah. And uh, right away inside on this little piece of paper, it tells me that the Vita will need an update to play the game. Great. <laughs> Looks like I have to set up the uh, 3G after all. So, 
It's connecting to Docomo to set up the 3G and it's still playing that horrible music. Uh, now I get a little sight that's slowly Japanese. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. <clears throat> Next, you must set up for use of PSN. Okay. Um, yes, I do. PlayStation Network account. I'm going to say do not use for now. Put that in later. Can't skip it. So I'll go back and do that again. Use. Now it's asking me to select my uh, wireless network at home. <clears throat> oh, that popping the password. Oops. <clears throat> so it's connecting to my Wi Fi at home. System software update is required. Yeah, great. <clears throat> update the system software and then link your account with the PlayStation Vita system. Right, okay, so let's say do not use. Next. 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 I have to put in my date of birth. <clears throat> I can set a date of birth uh, as far back as 1900, which seems ambitious. I don't know how wide they think their Taku audience is. <laughs> They're probably not 111 year olds included. So it feels quite uh, tactile when you slide things around on the screen. It's uh, sort of slightly grittier maybe than an iPhone, not quite so slippery. <clears throat> and it's giving me a little uh, video here. See that? I don't think I can skip that, so just wait. So it's showing me how to select things uh, on the <clears throat> on the menu and stuff like that, and clips from some games, uh, a bunch of menus and stuff, and it's got this little animated video showing you, showing all that stuff off. Everything is, uh, you know, you can switch screens just by tearing the, tearing the top corner off. <clears throat> okay, so now I get, uh, in English, a little uh, kind of uh, explanation about this is the home screen. Um, get rid of that. So, you can see the, uh, I just bought this today. Um, the battery indicator says its battery is almost full, so I guess they're shipping these with a fully charged battery, uh, which is handy. Um, <clears throat> on the home screen, you can see all the different uh, little icons that you can tap, and the top left one, Welcome Park, is bouncing, so I guess that's where it wants me to start. Um, that's If you tap on this little thing in the corner here, it gives you any notifications. Don't have any yet, of course. Uh, up in the top right, it's got the signal strength and the uh, operator for the 3G, just like on a phone. It's also telling me Bluetooth is on, and we can flick in the photos. This is the <clears throat> the live area screen, is what you get first. Um, and if I just hit start, let's see what happens. You need a memory card. Right. -o. 
looks like it's time to uh, unwrap the memory card. So, this is a 16 gig memory card. Um, Today the 32 gig memory cards were sold out everywhere, or that is to say they didn't seem to have shipped very many of them. Um, and that's been the kind of the hot thing on Twitter, is that the memory cards were harder to get than the console. Oh man. memory card is uh, absolutely tiny, it's like um, just slightly bigger than a micro SD card. So I'm going to pop that in up here, I guess. No, not up there. That's right. So actually the memory card goes in a little socket uh, just down below the screen on the right. And you now have to restart. Great. So while that's restarting, so this down here is where the memory card goes, which means that this mystery slot up here is something else. Looks like an HDMI or something like that, but we'll have a look at that later. We're back in. So it restarts pretty quick. Uh, Alright, let's try photos again. Can it start? Uh, would you like to save location data? All right, yeah, let's do that. Oh, Christ. So now... Got the camera. And... Shoot a picture. Saving. And straight away, <clears throat> I can flick to see the last photo I just took. Very exciting. Uh, let's come out of here. Flick the screen left and right between, to move between the home screen and the live area screen. Okay. So it's kind of like multitasking. You can flick in and out of applications. Let's uh, have a quick look at this welcome park then. Let's start. Yeah. for now I think. Case. Vita. Smooth. And a bunch of games. Dream Club, uh, Dream Club Zero, Runner Hostess Bar, Blaze Blue, Hit People, Power Smash 4 is Virtual Tennis, Hit a Ball, uh, Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, Hit Marvel characters and Capcom characters, uh, Katamari Nobita, it's a Katamari game. Pick things up with a ball. F1, drive a car, and Blaze Blue came with a free audio CD, which probably will never get played in this house. Thank you very much.